Elon Musk plans to ensure life on Mars by first terraforming and then populating it. To, however, terraform and populate a planet, a few solutions need to be in place, including transportation, local energy, raw materials, and communication. It is therefore important for the actualization of this plan to have many companies that can work together to provide resources for a common goal. With the eccentric Elon Musk slowly building an ecosystem of such companies, it makes that plan even easier. Stay with us until the end of the video to understand how Elon Musk companies are preparing for Mars. Go ahead and subscribe for more juicy contents, and don't forget to like and share this video with your friends. Now, let's begin. Currently in a South Texas facility, SpaceX furthers its cause to aid space travel, and what we know for certain is that Elon Musk is not going to compromise on his desire to colonize Mars. Given his responses as regards to the use of Earth and what it could result to in the long term. Widely across the internet, Elon made several mentions of the Mars project, stating specific solutions to questions as regards to the Red Planet and how, now, it very much looks like Elon Musk, the SpaceX CEO, is prepared to achieve his dreams of life on Mars. While we know for sure how Elon Musk will utilize his rocket company SpaceX to attain this feat, we believe other Musk companies could also provide substantial support to the colonization effort. To begin, we all know Elon Musk is a good businessman who surely knows that huge projects deserve humongous attention, especially investments to fund the project. To sustain life on the Red Planet, however, the Tesla CEO acknowledged the fact that humans need to build a city on Mars, including the fact that he knows it will take a lot of resources. I want to be able to contribute as much as possible, he said. For instance, I believe Elon Musk very much plans to satisfactorily utilize his companies for the colonization of Mars because he mentioned, Basically, I will not have possessions with monetary value other than company stocks. With SpaceX, Elon Musk apparently plans to build a fleet of a thousand starships. These starships are 387 feet rocket ships being developed for space travel. He further went on to say that following the completion of the fleet, the company would go on to launch three of them every day to make sure space travel will be available to everyone. As this stands on the top of the list, Tests are being carried out for the journey to Mars, where every other thing as regards to the journey, including time frame, has as well been determined. However, the issue of habitation has remained in the air for quite a while now. While there have been various touts as regards to how people will live on Mars, in domes and caves and others, we shouldn't forget that most of Mars is dry land. Also, in particular seasons, harsh winds parade its surfaces. Furthermore, to even ensure that life on the Red Planet is sustainable, Elon Musk mentioned that the need to survive on there without Earth's resources is a must. Otherwise, plans of going to Mars will lead nowhere. He believes that life on Mars will only be achievable through self-sustaining cities or colonies. One major obstacle to the colonization of Mars is the ships and their need to resupply. The problem of ships returning to Earth from Mars after landing is one that has been on the table for quite some time now. The products needed to ensure sustainability of life on Mars play an important role in determining colonization. First of all, liquid fresh water cannot exist for long on the Martian surface as anything quickly freezes or boils into the planet's very thin atmosphere. To survive on the surface of Mars will not be possible for humans, therefore. Interestingly, some experts have gone on to talk about life underground and this is where Elon Musk's boring company comes in. On Earth, I'm sure that you've heard of the Boring Company, whose actual work is to bore tunnels to combat traffic congestion and at the same time remain deterrent to disasters, including floods and earthquakes. Typically, the LA subway system cost $900 million per mile to dig. However, the Boring Company did it for $10 million, very much less than the former. The Boring Company could help dig the iron-rich soil of Mars, which would further help construction of buildings and possibly caves for habitation. As the Boring Company digs for possible caves, the idea that they might be possibly able to dig to access subsurface water shouldn't be scrubbed. Apart from the fact that the Boring Company will aid life on Mars, it might also help to mine materials for more construction on Earth. The Boring Company could most favorably be the way to easily house people on Mars. A key challenge to living on Mars will definitely be the intense levels of radiation the planet receives from space due to its lack of a strong magnetic field. On Earth, however, this strong magnetic field protects us from rather destructive particles. To simply avoid exposure to deadly amounts of radiation, colonists on Mars must be shielded with some protective layer which will definitely be several feet deep into Martian rock. Furthermore, the Starlink satellites might even open up communications between both planets. 
Once a communication center has been established on Earth, connecting Mars to Earth, life on Mars will virtually not feel lonely. The establishment of a communications path will most definitely secure space for fast internet connectivity. While a lot of data will be needed to secure good communication with Mars, Starlink might be at the forefront to provide satellites for this reason, and further aid the colonization of Mars. It should not surprise you that Elon Musk might also make use of autonomous vehicles, either cars or trucks, to carry out distant and difficult missions for the colonists. Although it has not been explicitly expressed, the vehicles might even be used to move products for refueling on the surface of Mars. For a fact, we do know that Musk really wants the first spaceships to be filled with machines and cargo necessary for proximate future missions. We sure do know Tesla is currently collecting a lot of data for its autonomous driving, and as such, building autonomous cars to aid long-distance travel at cheap costs. Musk easily teased a robo-taxi. We should expect that something of this sort will be used to carry out specific missions or collect necessary items for survival and building. Places where humans will easily be able to get accustomed by autonomous vehicles. Tesla is a company that has built batteries, and of course, electric vehicles could go the extents of building easy utility vehicles. On Mars, electric utility vehicles will be much appreciated because it totally cancels the need for transporting fuel for vehicles on Mars. This will surely promote a renewable, sustainable, non-polluting electric power on Mars to sustain human life. As we wait the contribution of other Elon Musk companies to colonize Mars, SpaceX has made considerable progress in determining such equipment and materials needed to build enough sustainable facilities, especially for power, water, raw resources, and how it will be transformed into fuel for return launches to Earth. SpaceX plans to have the first two crewless starships confirm the water resources on the planet and locations that draw attention and interest. They will further determine the possible effects of future hazards, what the hazards might be, and set up necessary infrastructure for further explorations, including perhaps a launch pad, subsequent crewed spaceships. To generate, however, a substantial amount of fuel on Mars will roughly span about 26 months and enough power to achieve this fuel. Using their formula, we'll need about 56,600 square meters of ground-based solar panels. This amount of solar panels can easily be transported to Mars in a single starship. Getting high-powered solar arrays will definitely not be a problem for Elon Musk, as his Tesla energy company has provided such solar panels, which could provide a major amount of these essential panels. As a matter of fact, powerful batteries and stronger panels will be developed to provide enough energy for operations. As one goes further into space, the power from the nearest sun dwindles, and if you go as far as Pluto, the solar cells will need to be very much larger than the current panels we have, just for the same amount of energy. So much investment will go into providing the perfect solar panels for life on Mars, and to even continuously identify other sustainable energy sources. These solar panels have actually proven to be the most effective way to generate energy locally on the Red Planet, and if a mechanical could exist to autonomously service these panels, the frequent dust storms on Mars should not be much of a problem. The Starship would inarguably be the most powerful launch system ever created, and each launch would gather enough thrust to push more than 100 tons, equivalent of about seven fully loaded school buses, including people, into orbit at a single time. The rockets would ferry to Mars lots of food, water, building materials, equipments, and necessary life support systems. In time, the Big Falcon rocket, also known as the BFR, will go into space, carrying about 13 tons of load into space. The 25-story high rocket will have about 42 powerful Raptor engines, and will give enough boost to Starship where it will likely be connected to a similar booster already in place for support throughout the Mars journey. In conclusion, a total of about a thousand starships could hypothetically transport close to 100 megatons of load into Mars, according to how Elon Musk plans, with each ship ferrying about 100 passengers, resulting in a total migration of approximately 100,000 people. Thank you for watching one of our videos. While you're here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.